Hey everybody, it's April and uh, Riley for some reason with his back to the camera. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, today I'm actually, I put on some more casual clothes just because um, I'm going to do some tougher stuff today. So I'm going to throw in some elevator planks and maybe some side planks and bird dogs. So we may or may not go five minutes. We'll just see how it goes. I see me the last minute just holding and uh, breathing heavily. So we're going to, you're going to move out of the way. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to start, we're going to start in a regular plank. We'll hold for a minute and then we'll start adding some other fun stuff. So setting up in a table. Pull your shoulder blades down your back, or pull your shoulders down your back. Then lift your upper back, lift your chest, pull in your belly, come up on your toes, shift your weight forward slightly. So you always wanna make sure you have your good form before you start adding some other things. So do all of that again. Separate your shoulders, pull in your belly, tighten up your glutes, make sure your spine is nice and long. So we've got it going on. Working your shoulders, working your belly, really working that core strength, which that's the best thing about plank is you're working on that core strength. Helps with strong abs, strong lower back. I mean, it's just, it's just got so much. So I like to, we're at 32 seconds. I like to add different things on Friday just to show you that you can make plank as difficult <laughs> as you want. Sometimes though, adding things makes it a little easier in a way because you're getting a little movement and it makes it seem not, you're not just holding the whole time, you're moving a little bit. So um, we're coming up on one minute and we're going to start with elevator plank. And this is one of my favorites, but it is core, or it is um, a bit more cardiovascular. Okay, here we go. We're coming down on a forearm, next forearm, and then come back up again to your plank. Okay, keep going down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up keep going we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides so make sure though Riley what are you doing <laughs> make sure you keep your spine long make sure you keep your belly pulling in um, there he goes again <laughs> so you have your good plank okay so I'm pausing for a moment and then we're gonna switch sides so and by that I mean start with your opposite forearm so down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Keep going. And again, you're trying not to rock side to side. So really engage your core while you're moving so you can keep that good form. I think Riley has something wrong. <laughs> he needs to go out or something. You're just gonna have to wait one minute, okay? So we're gonna pause here, we're at 2.15. Take a little breath, or a big breath. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good to sigh it out. <sighs> okay, so now we're actually, we're even gonna add a push-up, okay? So we're gonna do a push-up, and then a bird dog. So left leg back, right arm forward. Woo. Come back to your plank again. I need to move this way a little bit. Do a push-up, come back up to plank, do the other side, right leg, and left arm. Woo and come back again. Let's see if we can squeeze out a couple more of those. Push up, left leg, right arm. Whoop, that wasn't a very good one, was it? Do it again, push up, right leg, left arm, pull in your belly, use your core strength. Oh, whew. we're at 307. I think we should do that one more time. Okay, push up, left leg, Right arm, really engage your core. Reach, reach, reach. Come back to plank. One more push up, push up. Whew. Extend your right leg, reach your left arm forward, and come back to plank. <sighs> We're at 331. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in side plank and then a little side plank hug is what they're called. So roll over onto that outside foot, lift your arm. Now for this, you'll want to keep your top foot down because we're going to turn, reach your left arm under, and then come back again. I think that's really hard with feet stacked. So you can do that if you like, but I'm suggesting, strongly suggesting you bring your top foot down. Okay, go ahead and come back to the other side. Reach, 
and then bring that top arm under and come back again. We'll do it again. Okay, other side. Lift your top arm, lift your hips. Bring your top arm under, give yourself a little hug. Come back to side plank. We'll do the other side. Switch, right arm up, lift your hips. Bring your top arm under, give yourself a hug. And come back again. Woo wee, <laughs> I am feeling it today. <laughs> wow, okay. So we're at uh, 447. Actually, we've only got a few more seconds. So in the finish with a strong plank, really lift your upper back, pull in your belly, tighten up your glutes, press your heels back. We're at five minutes. I'm going to hold a few seconds longer just because I'm crazy. Keep holding, keep breathing. And, you know, tell me about, I like hearing about plank variations. So if you hear about a plank variation, you think um, it would be fun to try, in plank break, that was 515. Let me know and maybe I can throw it in, assuming I can do it. <laughs> it's okay if I'm shaky a little bit. Okay, see you next time.